What's up guys? Welcome back to Dame Untamed. For those of you who are new here, my name is Nikki and this is my adventure travel channel. So I'm absolutely loving my new life here in Nanaimo, British Columbia. There is so much to do and so much to see and it's just so incredible and amazing. It's been a while since I've done sort of a recap story. So I figured it was about time to dive real deep into the trip of a lifetime. Back in 2019, before the world imploded, I flew to Africa to make a childhood dream come true. I went to Tanzania to climb Mount Kilimanjaro and to safari through the Serengeti. So rewind like 25 years, <laughs> as a young girl who grew up in the era of The Lion King, literally watching it twice a day, and I was obsessed with animals for the rest of my life, this trip was inevitable. It will forever be one of the best adventures I have ever been on. So my friends Anna, Mel, and I booked a four night, five day safari with Mars Tours. It included stops in Tarangiri National Park, the Serengeti National Park, Ngorongoro Conservation Area, and Lake Manyara National Park. All four parks were absolutely stunning. Each one of them was unique in its own way, different types of wildlife in different places. All four parks are definitely worth seeing. Really quickly before we get into the safari, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the African Big Five. Originally, these animals were referred to as the Big Five because they were difficult to hunt. They were the ones that posed the greatest danger, the most difficult. Nowadays, things are a little bit different. Obviously, these animals are still at risk for hunting, like trophy hunting, ew. However, the Big Five are now referred to as the cool animals to see on the safari. Like, these are the big ones that you really want to look out for. So we were actually lucky enough to see four of the Big Five, and I'm gonna let you watch the video so you can figure out which ones we did and did not see. Now, without further ado, I will stop talking and let's get to it. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, first day of the safari. Our roof is officially open. Woo! Off to see some animals. Yay, yay, yay. is Tanzania's sixth largest national park and covers an area of 2,600 square kilometers. It's most popular for its large elephant herds and many wildlife migration during the dry season that sees 250,000 animals enter the park. So I don't think I've ever been so happy in my entire life. Check it out. <laughs> Look at this, how amazing. What would you like to stay in? Established in 1951, Serengeti National Park stretches across 14,763 square kilometers. It's home to our planet's largest movement of animals, often called the Great Migration, where more than 2.4 million wildebeest, zebra, and antelope make their way across the plains 800 kilometers all the way to Kenya's Masai Mara.
campsite after a day of safariing in the Serengeti, which was the best. And what's really neat about tonight is that we're literally, so we're sleeping in the national park, in Serengeti National Park, but there's no fencing around where we're staying. And all of our kitchens and all of our things that are open to the outside have cages around them, like they're caged in. So this is definitely the definition of rough in it and I'm all about it. To add to the level of coolness of this camp, our guide just told us that we need to be very careful after dark and that we are not allowed to get out of our tents to go to the washroom in the middle of the night because lions, hyenas, elephants, you name it, pass through our camp. He said that there are no refunds if we don't make it. So yeah, we're gonna have to be pretty careful tonight. Ooh. Now I will be quite honest when I say that this particular safari that I went on was the farthest thing from a luxury. I am a person that really enjoys roughing it. I enjoy getting dirty and I, you know, it doesn't matter where I sleep, I can sleep in tents, none of that bothers me. However, if you are a person that needs more comfort, this probably isn't the option for you. We camped every single night in different places, which was great. I am totally the type of person that enjoys that kind of thing. I love camping, I love being in tents and really feeling like I'm in nature, I'm in the wilderness. I find that cool, not everybody does. However, you will pay quite a bit more money as far as the more luxurious options go. The tour included amazing food. Our chefs were incredible. Pretty much everything was a vegetarian option, so that really worked for me because I don't eat meat. Not everybody is meant to be outside in a tent in the middle of the Serengeti. Not everybody. I thought it was super cool that there were hyenas crawling around our tents at night. That's not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> I live for the adventurous options. A, cheaper, and B, a little less luxurious. So just keep that in mind. Off for our morning safari. Look at that sunrise. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> what a way to start off our morning safari. <laughs> A wimbo wet, 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 a wimbo to the Serengeti, we stopped in at a local Maasai village. The Maasai are an indigenous ethnic group in Africa of semi-nomadic people. We spent time with the locals, learned about Maasai culture, and participated in traditional dance and welcoming ceremonies. <laughs> We even got a few English lessons from a very bright group of young students. The Ngorogoro Crater is the world's largest inactive, unbroken, and unfulfilled volcanic caldera. It was formed when an ancient volcano similar to the size of Kilimanjaro erupted and collapsed on itself. The crater is 610 meters deep, 260 kilometers squared, and approximately 30,000 animals call the crater home. One significant species you won't see here is the giraffe. The steep cliffs are just too difficult for them to navigate down.
Lake Minyara National Park is one of Tanzania's smallest parks with a total area of 330 square kilometers. It's known for the famous tree climbing lions, habituated baboons, and large elephant populations. It's home to over 400 species of birds, including flamingos. Just taking in our last day here in Tanzania amongst all the zebras in the background. Feeling so, so grateful for this trip. binoculars on to try and see oh what's that oh, over there yeah, a mammal <laughs> as a homo sapien <laughs> it's brown it's got a dash of green it's <laughs> one of a kind all right guys that is all for today's safari through the serengeti i truly hope you enjoyed this video as much as i love making it i know i say this about everywhere that i've been but if you have the ability to make this trip happen for yourself you have the ability to go on a safari please do it please do it because it is life-changing and eye-opening. Just the most incredibly beautiful trip that you could possibly imagine. As always guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out so you don't miss my next upload. I'll see you guys next time.